my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about Bayer Leverkusen set of tactics under your well, potential new Real Madrid manager potentially next season. Um, Javi Alonso, of course, he's done a fantastic job at Bayer Leverkusen, um, playing some fantastic football. And you know what? We're going to try and replicate and recreate those set of tactics in FIFA 23. But before I do so, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for showing some support for this channel. It's grown at a really good rate recently. Um, so I'm really appreciative of everybody who's supported the channel, liked the videos, shared the videos, of course, the new subscribers. And of course, if you are new and watching this video, please do subscribe. That would be absolutely damn fantastic. So before I get emotional, teary out, <laughs> let's hop on into the set of tactics. Now, Looking at the squad, we've got um, Schick, we've got Adli, who's replaced Diaby on the, the left hand, the right hand side, sorry. We've got Verts, we've got Granit Jack, of course, a new signing, Palacios, um, Frimpong, Tapsoba, Tar, Hinkapi, um, Grimaldo, another new signing, um, Hardeki, Asmun on the bench, Hoffman, um, Dimarabi, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, Andrich, Pence, um, Fosu Mens, of course, a former Manchester United player, and um, Konans. Kosanu? I don't know. You know how it is with me and names. And then we've got a really good player here on the bench, Amari or Amiri, um, Hoshek. And then you know it, it just is what it is. I know I know that this man is a new player. Um, Boniface, he's just been brought in. And I know that Mbamba is also a nice young. I think he's Belgian. Um, and anyway, he he's a really good young player to have on the bench as well. He's only 18 years of age, six foot two. Fantastic player, can play as a, as a centre back as well, and you will see that this team does incorporate a, a back three or back five system, more or less a back three, um, because essentially your wing backs are more or less wide wingers. Um, but this team also is lacking in centre backs. I mean, you have Kasanu on on the bench, and then you don't really have anybody else. So they will probably need to sign another central defender, if you ask me. So. Yeah, just looking at that, it's a fantastic team, fantastic formation. This formation is really, really nice to use in FIFA 23. So I think Xavi has, you know, he's he's put on his FIFA cap there when deciding the, the set of tactics for his real team in real life. Um, but just having a look at these, um, well, at the, the formation, of course, uh, you have three centre backs, two central midfielders, not DMs, they're central midfielders, two wing backs two central attacking midfielders, so not essentially two centre forwards, they're two attacking midfielders, therefore they can offer a bit more defensively wise and you know keep the defensive shape narrowly of course. And then of course you've got one striker. As for the tactics, Xavi Alonso likes to press after a heavy touch, so he would rather force his opposition into making a mistake and then having his players be proactive about it. And normally this press is instigated by the right hand side, mainly Diaby, but in this case it will be Adley, um, who instigates the press and looks to make sure that the players can manipulate the opposition into creating issues for themselves and then counter-attacking and making sure that the worst happens to the opposition. Um, as for the width, it's set to 40, of course, naturally it is a wide formation with your two wing backs being quite wide, hugging the touch lines, firing crosses, and of course, so defensively you want to try and keep it narrow, but at the same time, you also don't want to keep it too narrow because it does allow for muddle ups to happen because of course your three centre backs are quite close to each other as well as your two uh, central midfielders in front of them. So a nice 40 overall um, is, a, is a nice happy medium if you ask me. As for the depth, Xavi Alonso likes to play quite a high line, compact um, the opposition in their own half. I know I say this all the time and it sounds like I repeat myself but 75 does replicate a very nice high line and of course if we are factoring in the Bundesliga set of tactics in general. Bundesliga teams do play quite a high line, which allows for players to run in behind um, the, the, the defense from time to time. Um, but I will say this, it does catch you out quite a few times. I mean, I played a few games with Bayer Leverkusen with these set of tactics, of course, trying to create and replicate and, and try and make it the best possible set of tactics. And I tried to like drop it down and it just, it didn't feel the same as what Xavi Alonso does in real life. So play it as a 75 overall or as a 75 depth, I should say, not overall, um, but it, it will potentially catch up because your wing backs bomb on and more or less act like wingers, um, and they very rarely come back on defense, which kind of irritates me because the instructions are set for them to come back on defense, but they choose to just kind of ignore me, but it does tend to pay off in the end because they are always open 
uh, on the wide touchline for for the, the cross field ball. So there, there are pros and there are cons, but the, the, sometimes the pros are not as good as the cons because the cons just absolutely kill you. Um, so do be careful if you are playing against a very pacey team with this very high line. As for the builder player set to balance, of course, Xavi Alonso would potentially like to play a more position-based brand, slow build up and everything like that, but this team is built to run. Um, so more or less a balanced set of instructions does get the best out of both worlds. You can counter-attack, you can as well play a, a slow possession-based build-up, you can hit long balls from the back. I know Tap Sober, um, as well as um, Hinkapi, and I think Jonathan Tarr as well is decent with the ball at his feet, but mainly Tap Sober is really good with the cross-field balls, um, so you can play long diagonal balls if you would like. Um, it is a very much a, a, a Liverpool-esque thing to do where you invite the opposition onto you and then you just boom one big long ball over the top. And more times than not, we were talking about those wingbacks because the wingbacks are very vital to the system being a success. Um, you, they'll be more or less always open because more times than not, the opposition can't spread their defense enough to reach those wingbacks on the touchline. So if you're ever looking for a pass and you feel hurried and hustled and, and everything like that, just try and spread out to that right or that left hand side um, across the field because more times than not, they will definitely be open. Um, as for chance creation, it is set to a possession based style of football, like I said. But at the same time, you will have your runners in Adley, in Verts, as well as um, Patrick Schick, who will be making runs in behind. Um, so you can have that fast paced build up play um, that we were speaking about earlier. As for the width, it's set to 70. Like I said, your wing backs are going to be very important in this style of play, in this system. Um, and you want them to be able to pick up the ball deep and run with it, get in behind the defense, have long balls hit to them, of course. But at the same time, you want it to them to be super wide so that the likes of your three forwards or your one forward essentially and your two central attacking midfielders just in behind them, they can have space to work and create. Where it also allows the likes of Granite Jacker and his midfield partner, it can be whoever you would like it to be, but I'm thinking of Jack at the moment, hence why I'm dropping the name. Um, it also allows them to operate in a bit more space because you'll have those wing backs pulling the opposition out of position, whether it's the defenders, whether it's the midfielders, because they will always be open to receiving passes, of course. Um, as for players in the box, it is set to a high six. It does allow for Adley, Schick and Vert in this situation to make deeper runs into the box, and then it allows the likes of um, your Frimpongs or your Grimaldos or even your Granite Jackers just to stay in and around the box and try and maintain and rotate position because it is a possession based style of football that we will be playing but at the same time it does allow for the attackers, the danger men, to get into the box and potentially score a few goals off of some crosses. I mean in the gameplay above we scored some banging goals off of crosses so you know it does work quite well. Um, as for corners and free kicks it is set to 4. I'm not going to go over that as per always. So as for the instructions, Hardeki, the goalkeeper, of course, also the captain, um, he is said to be a sweeper keeper and stay on balance when it comes to saving crosses. So he's not super airily dominant and to recreate that realistic approach, um, you know, he's not going to be said to claim crosses and dominate his, his area. And there were a few times where I had my, my heart in my mouth saying, oh no, just catch the ball. Um, so, you know, it, it is a somewhat irritating approach. But it does work and of course playing a sweeper keeper with a very hard line is a necessity and it also fits into the way and style that Javi Alonso has tried to implement in his short time in Germany of course. As for your centre backs though, they are all set with the base set of instructions, just the default. I would say however, maybe choosing Tapsova to potentially join the attack, join up with the midfield could be a possibility but at the same time you are left so defensively, you know, short at times with your uh, wing backs bombing on i would probably advise you to not really do that maybe if you are playing a low tier team in career mode or something go for it have as much attacking play as you want but more or less make sure your three defenders your three central defenders are more or less always in position because like i said your wing backs bomb on and they don't tend to come back um, which is slightly just slightly frustrating um, but speaking of the wing backs they are said to join the attack, aggressive interceptions, and this might be a reason why they don't come back, um, because they're just trying to impose themselves in the game as much as possible. They're also said to overlap and step up, so they, they will be looking to impose themselves on the opposition, like I just said, but at the same time, they, they are always looking for the attacking options, the, the more forward play, 
and and that's more or less why Xavi Alonso has had so much um, pleasure, I should say, in his football because he's just always looking to progress the ball forward. He's never looking for side to side passes. He's never looking for collect the ball, pass it back. He's always looking for the forward pass, and that's why Frimpong and new signing Grimaldo will be such a success under Javi Alonso. And that's why the likes of Frimpong are linked with the move to potential Manchester United or someone else for, I think, around 45 million. I know it was it was quoted around that, and that's because Frimpong himself has done such a great job. It's made managers like Eric Ten Hag say, hey, actually, he might be the player to help Manchester United, a massive club in Europe, um, succeed and, and progress and you know push themselves forward and further um, as for the midfield we've got Palacios and Jacka could be other uh, I think it's I think it's Aldrich Aldrich I think forgive me um, but in this case it's Palacios the same set of instructions would be quite easy for both um, but he is said to stay back while attacking stay on the edge of the box like I said you wanted him to collect the ball rotate possession wait patience calm down the the, the hurried offense from time to time him and Jack are going to be the calming down boys, which kind of sounds weird considering Granite Jacker um, is very much a hothead. But I, I mean, the last two seasons at Arsenal, he was quite good. Um, so give him his respect, give him his dues. He's deserved it. Um, he's also said to normal interceptions, stick to position as well as cover the wing. So when your fullbacks bomb on, your two central um, midfielders will look to try and help cover those wingback vacancies. Um, which doesn't really work because they aren't fast enough players, but it does at least add a little bit of defensive pressure to the opposition. Um, as for Granit Xhaka, same set of instructions, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for, for crosses of course, um, stay, stick to position and then cover the wing. And then as you can see here for Grimaldo, join the attack aggressive interceptions, overlap and step up the same as Frimpong. Now we get a little bit dicey with the two central attacking midfielders. Verts, we'll start off with him. Um, come on, come on, <laughs> come back on defense, stay on the edge of the box, free roam, you want him to have that freedom to express himself offensively, um, and then of course, normal interceptions. So Wurz of course is the next Kai Havertz coming out of Bayer Leverkusen, the next big thing in Germany, um, and more or less these instructions do get the best out of him, it allows him that positional freedom, which kind of can be dangerous at times, because if you don't have your players structurally sound defensively, it, you can be manipulated and it can kind of get ugly for you but of course he is playing higher up so it does help him a fair amount especially when your team does have the ball which you will be looking to do um, have as much possession as possible he is going to be the guy to help unlock your defense and also make those on the shoulder runs of the likes of a Patrick Schick while the likes of Adley will be looking to slightly play a, a more of a, a winger-esque role which was Musa Diaby's set of instructions but I've gone with Adley of course so just on that right hand side we've got Adley who is set to come back on defense, balance crossing runs, drift wide of course and aggressive interceptions. Slightly differing role to the, the left hand side of Verts. He is going to help impose the, the counter press on the opposition, make them make mistakes. He's going to force that of course um, but also he has a slightly differing role in the fact that he will be drifting wide helping out Frimpong with crosses into the box of course. His instructions are set to get into the box as well um, and be more of an attacking threat but he will also look to drift wide and fire and crosses to the likes of Verts as well as Patrick Schick. Um, if you didn't notice or well you, you now will because I'm going to tell you Adley is a left-footed player while Verts is a right-footed player and what Alonso is looking for is for them to invert and potentially get off shots creating more goal scoring opportunities of course. They don't really need to be on their natural side in terms of their crossing abilities because you do have overlapping fullbacks that are there to cross the ball of course. So always look to cut it inside and shoot, always look to try and feed the ball to the likes of Verts or Patrick Schick if you are on the right hand side with Adley. Um, but speaking of Patrick Schick, of course we have him set to balance width, that means that he will be running the lanes, that means that when they are looking to counter press, he will be there and available to make the, the double teaming run-esque or potentially cutting out passing lanes or closing down angles of course. But mainly he will be set to be a target man, he is a very strong physical um, human being they can back into the opposition center backs pull them out of position just physically impose himself on the game and of course he's aerially dominant which does help quite a bit with the set of tactics of course you will be looking to fire balls into the box and when you have a very strong tall striker like uh, like Patrick Schick for example having this set to target man does help quite a lot he is also set to a normal set of uh, interceptions 
Um, of course, you can go aggressive, but it does tend to tire him out. Um, but if you are looking to be more tactically sound and, and maybe try and, you know, win the ball back as fast as possible, maybe you're playing a PSG and you want them to not have the ball or you want to hurry them up a bit more, maybe you can have them set to aggressive interceptions. It will help hurry up the opposition a fair amount. And then, of course, he is set to come back on defense. He is always going to look to help the opposition. He is quite prone to coming back, drawing the, the two central defenders slightly deeper and then allowing space in behind for the likes of a Verts or a, an Adley or maybe even a Diaby in the past, who's now left and gone to Aston Villa. Um, so him just drawing out space for his teammates to run into is such a underrated feature that he does have and more or less come back on defense in FIFA 23 does help him recreate that in the game, of course. So until the next time, my dudes, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. We are on the road to 2K subs. I know, it's a small channel, but we're getting there.